I had a very strong role model, which was my mom. Mm -hmm. And she always taught us to, to hide our tears and hide our fears. And, um, and that's what they did. There are many times. <laughs> There are nights when I can't help but cry And I wonder why you had to leave me Tell me, where did I go wrong? What did I do to make you change your mind? completely when I thought this love would never end but if this love's not ours to have I'll let it go with your goodbye Hello, Babsters! Welcome dito sa Pep Exclusives. And we are so happy dahil napaunlakan niya tayo. Grabe, super nakaka-happy to. And first time niya sa Pep Exclusives, we have, of course, Miss Joey Albert. Hi, everyone! It's your dear, dear Joey on Pep. <laughs> yes. Hi, James. Thank you very much for inviting us here, well, me here um, on your wonderful show. I've been watching the videos of your old... Um, old um, episodes. Very interesting. Thank you so much po, Miss Joey. And thank you rin po for ano po, for guesting sa amin. Kasi po, syempre, super opportunity and honor po ito. Mm-hmm. And ito na po, syempre, ayan, pag-chikahan na po natin ang inyong bagong <laughs> ganap sa YouTube. Super happy po, no? Nung pinanood ko, parang very inspiring siya and at the same time super catered talaga to your viewers ang Dear Joey so kamusta naman po ang inyong Dear Joey na show well Dear Joey was conceived um actually out of a hobby um and an um a hobby that could bring um um help to to, to my mom's priests. You see, my, my mom founded the first Filipino-founded congregation of priests, and they're called the Marian Missionaries of the Holy Cross. And so they're the first Filipino-founded uh, congregation of priests already recognized by the Vatican. And when my mom died last year, I sort of took it upon myself and made a promise to myself that I would continue to take care of them for mommy. Mm-hmm. And when the pandemic came, um, uh, financial resources became very scarce for everybody, and including them, of course. So um, me being being Lola, you know, I don't know very much about this online and this mga streaming, streaming. Yeah. But some, pero may nakapagsabi sa akin na, alam mo, Joey, tira mo yung iba, may mga YouTube channels sila, tapos nagmamonetize sila. Pag ano yung monetize? <laughs> so, so inexplain nila sa akin. And I said, well, maybe that's the, the venue to be able to help them. But of course, it I, I I had to think of a concept. Now, alam mo, noon pa, gusto ko nang... I've always wanted to have a Dear Joey column on a magazine or a newspaper. I don't know. Ako... Eh, as as Ruel Santiago says, mili tayo ako makialam sa story na ibang tao. <laughs> That's what Ruel says all the time. Kung pakialam yan ka talaga. <laughs> but also, I've always been, and as far as I remember, maski na nung high school, you know, everybody used to call me Manang. Even the boys would call me Manang. The guys would all call me Manang. And I think I just probably have that that natural desire to, to 
to be of comfort, to give comfort to other mm -hmm. people. And I thought that, and being that I'm not a psychologist or anything like that, and I may not give proper advice, I thought, well, what is the best way I can make people happy? But with my singing, mm -hmm. right? So my friends and I, 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 you know, I talked to my friend about it, and then we talked to Vivian Dresha about it, and, and it just happened. One day we just said, Tara, let's do it. And, you know, it's, it's, um, it's so funny because we had about we we managed to get about a thousand subscribers maybe in a matter of two weeks mm -hmm. and now I, yeah and now our task is to build our viewers our viewership yes. but the but but the beautiful thing about it is um mission aside secret mission aside it is developing into a bigger mission or, or a diff um a two prong mission it's it's developing a diff an, another mission on top of my 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 original mission yeah and it it's i'm just discovering how many people are really in need of just someone to talk to or just just a light at the end of some tunnel and some darkness that they're feeling so you know you know what now I'm thinking whether it does make money or not or whether it succeeds or not i think i'm just going to keep doing it maybe for the one 10, 20 people yes. that, that, make, that, that it makes mm. happy. Mm-hmm. Nga po yung next question ko sana na parang, ano po yung kind sa mga letters na nare-receive ninyo? Tapos, syempre, paano nyo po rin sila in entertaining? Sa ako nga sinasabi, I don't know if you, if you watch enough, but like kasi nasabi, sa halip na ako yung bibigyan ng kaligayahan sa mga manunulat, parang sila yung nagbibigyan ng kaligayahan sa akin minsan. Mm -hmm. Kasi, Yung iba sa kanila, like for instance, meron ako isang fan from the 80s, si, si Mel, na biglang, na biglang, you know, she discovered Dear Joey, so we're back in touch with each other after almost 40 years. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, so yung mga fans na, na noon, noon pa, nung kasikatan ko, nagkakahanapan kami ulit, tapos may millennial fans na ako. <laughs> yes. Na, hindi pa pinapanganak no well, pinanganak sila nandito na ako sa Canada <laughs> isn't that so funny and then of course yun yung may masasayang sulat mayroong inspirational na sulat um, yun yung magandang part kasi yung iba dahil sa seril nilang mga karanasan na si share nila na bibigyan din ng inspiration yung mga ibang listeners and it helps them mm -hmm. to deal with their own and many of them are similar problems anyway so Ayo, may mga susulat and sinasabing maraming salamat for that episode because may natutunan kami. And of yes. course, meron din yung mga karanasan na masasakit at may hirap. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you know, sometimes sometimes people don't really need advice or a solution to their problem. They just need mm -hmm. to be heard. And more than that, they just need to be acknowledged. Yes. And, and and that's what I try to do. I, I, I tell them how brave they are, how, how courageous they are, how, you know, f for trying to to find a way out of it. Because sometimes even just trying to find a way out is already yes. a big step. And it's such a big, big sign of courage. And, and courage is so important. So you want to acknowledge ko lang sila. Ayun, at saka magandahan, mm -hmm. syempre. Yes, of course. Nako, super ano nun. Honor din sa kanila na makantahan ko. Di ba nakakakilig yung, uy, ako kinatahan derecho. Uy, ako yes. sulat ko, di ba? Parang... So, concept-wise, it's not one of those things like, like, maybe if I went on a platform like TikTok and then biglang everybody will will see, react, and respond it's mm -hmm. not that kind of a platform. It's much slower, but it's also more heartfelt. Yes. Yun nga po, ang ganda nung sinabi nyo kanina na parang meron kayo talagang original na mission, yung parang fundraising. Tapos hanggang sa nagkaroon nga po ng bigger na purpose. Yeah. Ang galing. And yun nga po, dahil dyan sa inyong dear, dear Joey, syempre yun nabanggit na kanina, nag-reconnect na kayo with your fans. So parang kamusta po na ang feeling na syempre ang tagal na po na panahon din that you're not in local showbiz, ano? pero your fans are still very active. 
I still, yeah, I, and 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 I found new ones. Um, mapalad naman kasi ako, um, JMP, um, in the 25 years that I have been here in Canada, by yes. God's wonderful grace and providence, makakauwi naman ako. You know that um, this will be the first Valentine that I will not be able to come home to Manila. Mm -hmm. Um, usually pag Valentines. Mm, naaanyayahan ako mag-concert sa Manila whether it's a solo concert a concert with another artist or many times it was the new minstrel circus band reunions mm -hmm. um, so and then other times um, when I used to go home and visit mommy nakaka-concert nakaka din ako I've done several pagcore tours which is my way of connecting with people even outside of Metro Manila Mm -hmm. So, uh, mapalad naman ako at nabibigyan din ako ng Panginoon ng mga munting pagkakataon to stay in touch with Filipinos. And then, of course, there's the wonderful concerts here in North America where I can um, give back to the Filipinos and, and, and sing them their Filipino songs. So, I think that every little time you touch someone, it adds up and then it builds. And, yes. Um, and maybe that's why... And of course, I think that the the bigger miracle is really the fact that I have been blessed enough to leave behind such beautiful songs so that no matter how far away I've become, by some miracle, the songs lived on. Yes. On. <laughs> and it's, the, for me, that's still a no. A mystery. <laughs> yes. Kaya nga po parang ano eh, hindi naman po din namin naramdaman na parang you left talaga. Or, kasi nga po, from every now and then, merong mga concerts and of course your songs talaga, di ba? Sobrang tumatak. <laughs> Ito yung legit na ano talaga, iconic <laughs> sa ating music scene. Di ba? Kasi... Mahilig talaga ang Filipino sa ano, love songs. Diba? Yes. And saka iba talaga yeah. love. Parang diba parang iba talaga yung love songs ng 80s. Parang, chuk. Mm -hmm. Parang, ah, asakit. Correct. Opo. Pero ito po, noong umalis kayo sa local music scene, parang was it also hard for you na parang you have to make the decision nga po? It, it was. It was very difficult. Mm -hmm. Um, of course, sino ba naman yung gustong iwanan yung napakagandang uh, career? And of course, one of the hardest things also for me to leave was my mommy, <laughs> mommy's girl, mm -hmm. kasi ako. It was really a, a very difficult decision. And um, um, to be honest, it was really my husband that was pushing for it. And with, and with good reason, you know, we yes. wanted to provide the best education, the best global education for our children, which, which we were able to do. And I have no regrets mm -hmm. about it. But yet, it was very painful because yun lang yung mundo na alam ko, di ba? Yung, tsaka yun lang yung alam ko gawin. Wala. Anong gagawin ko pagdating ko dito sa Canada? Mm -hmm. Wala ko alam gawin, di ba? So, I was a stay-home mom for the first 10 years. Mm -hmm. Yun lang yung deal ko sa asawa ko. Um, at first, I wasn't really, hindi buing loob ko pumunta rito. And then what happened was in 1994, um, which is the year before I left, nag, um, I that's when I had my first about with cancer yes which wasn't very serious really but it was serious enough to make me think na mm -hmm. ano kaya kung mangyari ito ulit di hindi ko na pag-ukulan ng sapat na panahon yung mga mga anak ko kasi maliit pa sila at that time five and two so it was enough na mapaisip ako at talagang na-realize ko na ano ba talaga yung mas mahalaga mm -hmm. yung career ko yung kasikatan ko ang lahat ng perang pwede kong kitain dito or yung panahon na pwede kong iukol sa mga anak ko kasi granting na, supposing mangyari ulit, edi kilala, makikilala pa ba ako ng mga anak ko kung hindi ko sila pag-ukulan ng mm -hmm. enough time, di ba? So, yun yung naging very, I think that became um, the, the, the factor that finally pushed me towards that decision. So, mm -hmm. I left. So, I left. I left. Ayun, pero at least po ngayon, parang ano, no? May, nandun po yung ano, best of both worlds. Kasi you're still a mom to your kids. And ngayon, you're still serving sa ano, Philippine 
showbiz scene with your music. Actually, I really, I really thought na na nung nung tinalikuran ko na, ahala ko that's it, tapos na. Mm-hmm. Tapos na yung pagkakanta ko, tapos na yung career ko. But you know, Joe Marichan, really, when I was leaving, he said, don't close your doors. You know, once a singer, always a singer. Ay parang sinasabi niya na ang ang pagkakanta, ang music, parang tubig. Mm-hmm. Hanap at hahanap ng daan. And it was true. It was so true. Um, uh, and and um, here I am. <laughs> Maski na akala kong mawawala. At saka sinaks- di, di ko naman ako sino makakahanap sa akin dito sa Canada. Diba? But eventually, mm-hmm. I think God was just also just giving me enough time to be with my children and to learn to be a good mother. And, and uh, yes. you know, those were the most difficult um, but the best years of my life. Mm-hmm. Raising my two girls. Ayun nga po, yun ang next question. Kamusta po ang pagiging mom to your kids po? The journey of motherhood. You know, the journey of motherhood is very difficult. Um, especially, I think, because our generation, ati, sorry, my generation, mabana ka pa pala sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> my generation, yun yung naipit dun sa napakaraming pagbabago sa buhay. Mm-hmm. So, a lot of the, the, the ways that we were raised It's our generation that had to change so much in raising our own. Yes. Because of because of technology, because of the global world, you know, technology opened the world to to to, to a magnitude mm-hmm. and level that was never ever experienced before. So we had to cope with so many more things than our parents had to. Mm-hmm. And so I had We had to change our parenting skills. You know, we had to. Yes. We were vulnerable to our children. We had to, to start communicating more with our children. Hindi na pwedeng basta hindi na umbra yung because yeah. because I said so. Mm-hmm. Unlike before, you know, um, hindi na umbra yung wakas sa gut sa akin because now you had to, you had to actually encourage them to reach on out and 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 I'm always thinking. I had to raise them to be independent because exactly the nature of my medical condition mm-hmm. na kung mawala ako kailangan matuto silang tumayo na mag-isa at any young yes. age so it was very challenging but at the same time it was for me the best times of my life naging barkada ko yung dalawa yung namimiss ko na nga eh namimiss ko na yung bata pa sila yung buntot lang sila buntot sa akin hindi <laughs> ko na makita mm-hmm. they have their own lives but But we still stay in touch, and it's so funny because dito naging nagpalit yung nagbago yung yung definition ng family. Because di ba yan family kasama lolo, lola, yes. tito, mm-hmm. tita, pig, lahat di ba? Dito talagang apat lang kami for many mm-hmm. years. It was just the four of us, my husband, myself, and wala wala kan wala silang pinsan dito, wala ako ng kamag-anak dito. So the 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 dynamics of the family dynamics and as as a nucleus nagbago na John so a lot mm-hmm. a lot a lot of changes and definitely had to decrease and let them increase you know i mm-hmm. had to put my own dreams aside for a long time but you know my mom prepared me well naman to do that because you know she always even as a child taught me the value of sacrifice and that mm-hmm. really that really helped Ayun po. Ay, di, kasi po, syempre, no, ang ganda marinig nito kasi alam naman po natin yung pinagdaanan din ninyo sa medical condition ninyo. And at the same time, you were raising your kids. Super inspiring story talaga. And ako mo kasi naalala ko noon, napanood ko yung ano nyo, MMK with Vina Morales pa po, <laughs> di ba? Ang gawa na. Tapos doon ako na curious na ang galing kasi nga po, twice, noong time na po na yun, di ba? Parang twice kayo na hit. And then, super strong. How do you feel po na ganun? Grabe yung inspiration din na. Kasi nga, um, I had a very strong role model, which was my mom. Mm-hmm. And she always taught us to to hide our tears and hide our fears. And um, and that's what they did. There were many times. It, <laughs> it was really hard. That's the tatago ka na lang sa closet, doon ka na lang iiyak, di ba? Mm-hmm. <laughs> kasi para wag makita ng mga anak mo. Kasi you know, you have to be very sensitive with the children. When bad things happen to parents, 
sometimes children blame themselves mm -hmm. you know so you you have to guard against that diba so so ako tinago ko talaga lahat palagi kaming mag-asawa except nung 23 in 2003 na it came back my mm -hmm. husband my children were maybe 11 and 8 and my husband talked to them and at that very early age made them realize the possibility of of, of losing me and they you know they just they, they 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 cried their tears but when they went back to the room to talk to me they wiped their tears and mm -hmm. yeah so so you know you you do find the courage somehow Yes, yun nga po ang naging parang sinonimo sa inyo. Nabasa ko po kanina parang an article in Philippine Star ba? Na parang yung Big C wasn't really the Big C, but it's courage for you. That's what it is. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a good, it's a, it, it can be a very wonderful journey if your attitude is correct, if you set your mind to it. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and it makes you feel special. It when you're victorious, it's like winning a battle. It's it is. It really is. You're you know. It, it's hard to describe. <laughs> mm -hmm. Pero ito po message na lang po siguro den sa parang mga tao na who are going through the same thing or who went through what happened also sa inyo. You know, it's really hard to give um, cancer uh, um, patients advice there's really no true mm -hmm. advice that, but really just to believe to stay positive and to believe in in a bigger power and to to, to go outside of yourself wag na wag lang yung maawa sa sarili kasi pag naawa ka na sa sarili mo talo ka na eh. mm -hmm. that's one thing i noticed and there was always that temptation hindi ko sasabihin na wala Napakadaling maawa sa sarili. And you know what? It's actually, sometimes it feels nice and more consoling na maawa ka na lang sa sarili mo, di ba? Mm -hmm. Pero, yun lang yung sasabihin ko sa kanila pag naramdaman nila yun, nalabanan nila yun. Kasi, kasi, pag naawa ka sa sarili mo, talo ka na. And, and then of course, prayer. And huwag ka mahihiya na humingi ng tulong sa iba or humingi ng dasal. Mm -hmm. itatago sa sarili mo, ask for help and help will come. <laughs> yes, ayun po. Ito po, to lighten up the mood na kasi kita-kita naman natin ngayon. Parang wala naman po mga nangyari and parang hindi rin naman po kayo nag-age. Grabe, yeah, ang okay, beauty talaga. Oh. <laughs> ano po ang ano, beauty secret ninyo? Kasi grabe, parang wala. Parang, Walaan mo how old na ako. Naku po. Parang ang hirap. <laughs> Para sa 30s. Ganun po. Uh, ano. Kaya ko talaga kurut-kurutin kaya kita. <laughs> Nakabola no, yun ah. Sige, oh, bola talaga. Sige, doblehin mo pa yun. Times two. Hindi, <laughs> mm, seryoso po. Hindi yes. talaga siya pang ano. Ano po ang uh, ano? Uh, pakulay ng buhok. No, no. I, I, uh, um, yeah, you know what? I, I have white hair now. But never mind. <laughs> my secret i don't know i really don't know um well for one basa yung mukha ko basa kahit anong klaseng cream basa bubudburan ko ng cream yan gabi-gabi mm -hmm. <laughs> um number two i really don't like staying under the sun because i have freckles uh -huh. and so if i go under the sun it'll it'll become more mm -hmm. um but on, aside from all of that I think the best way to preserve outer beauty is to preserve inner beauty. Yes. And smile. Mm -hmm. Ang galing nga po, grabe yung ano nyo, smile all throughout then kahit no medyo nasa heavy part na tayo. It's the best way to hide, ano, the gravity. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's to make it baliktad. Diba? Ano? A smile is a frown turned upside down. Yes. <laughs> Ayan, so Pepsters, alam nyo na ang ano, secret, di ba? Oh, smile ka lang darang smile, maski na, maski na ano, fake. Kasi para, para yung ba, face huwag bumagsak, ganun lang daw. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> And aside 
po, syempre for me, a mom, no, kayo rin po ay parang owner ba of a daycare in yes. Canada? Yes, I, uh, I, I uh, in in 2004, after my 2003 mm-hmm. cancer, I decided to go back to school and fulfill another one of my dreams that remained unfulfilled because it got mm-hmm. interrupted by my being a singer. <laughs> before, <laughs> before being a singer, I really wanted to be a, to 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 open a nursery school. Mm-hmm. So I've always wanted to open a little nursery school. Um, so in 2003, after my second cancer, I said, well, I'm going to fulfill that other dream. So I went back to school and studied early childhood education. So, uh-huh. And then um, I worked as a teacher in mainstream daycares. And then in 2010, I opened my own Catholic daycare. Mm-hmm. Ayun, pero kamusta po ngayon? Was it affected po ba by the pandemic? No, in fact, you know, we had I had to stay open. Well, we were all given the options, but we were encouraged to stay open because here, Bale, daycare was considered essential. Mm-hmm. Because syempre, the parents, there were still parents that needed to go to work, especially the the parents who worked in medical field, yes. in the health industry. So we were encouraged to stay open. So I did. Mm-hmm. I did. They stayed open. Ang galing. And ano po, hanggang ngayon pala. So ilang years na, more than 10 years na rin. Yes, yeah, so this is my 11th year. Mm-hmm. Ang galing. At least po, parang ano nga, grabe, totoo yung best of both worlds. I mean, sa gabi po, you do the streaming and <laughs> yung oh, inyong pagkanta. Parang ani ba itong bakal? <laughs> <laughs> sa umaga naman po, daycare, <laughs> ano, owner. Oo. Yun. Pero ito po, oh Mabalik na tayo sa inyong music career. Siyempre, undeniable naman po talaga na nakapag-produce kayo ng madaming songs na nakapag-record kayo ng maraming iconic songs. Like, tell me, ikaw lang ang mamahalin. So, pwede po ba tayo magkwento lang? Baka meron po mga hindi alam ang mga tao. Wala, na, wala, wala. Kwento. <laughs> mga Pilipino po yung chismoso, alam na nila lahat. <laughs> Kaya gusto mo malaman. Well, of course, all those songs naman were not just me. It's also mm-hmm. um, the success of those songs are also equally shared by the composers, the yes. songwriters, right? So, mm-hmm. um, and and as as many know, majority of them were by, of course, the great Louis Ocampo and, yes. and um, lyricists such as Freddy Santos, Alan Aike. I wrote a couple of the songs. Um, mm-hmm. Yung Ikaw Lang Mamahalin. Uh, so, Louie and I collaborated and I wrote the lyrics of that song um, for my father and my sister who both passed away from cancer also um, within mm-hmm. three years of each other. Um, yeah. Alam mo, walang pinlano eh. All those songs had were, were, were outcomes of stories and situations. Mm-hmm. Pero yung tell me, hindi ako yun. Hindi ako talaga yun. Hindi... Hindi yun kanta ni Louie dahil sa akin. Mm-hmm. Kanta yun ni Louie dahil dun sa ex-girlfriend niya. Ah. Oh, hindi sa akin. Hindi, hindi ako yun. <laughs> <laughs> but see how beautiful, di ba? Things yes. that come out of pain can be very beautiful, di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero yung ikaw lang ang mamahalin po, ano, grabe, yan ang timeless talaga. Ay, no. Na... Grabe, no? Ilang teleserye. Teleserye, yeah. movie. I know. Alam mo, ano, isa pa yan. Super kilig ako kasi. Siguro four or five, five na yata of my songs ginawang movies. Mm-hmm. Ang galing, di ba? Ang galing. Especially, At saka, yes. Isa pa lamang, syempre, Don Solano. Oh, yes. And, oh, pa, and Richard Thomas. Na naging soap na din with Claudine. Mm-hmm. Di ba? And sa'yo lamang, also hiningi ni Richard Gomez yan. In fact, that song is so meaningful kasi sa'yo lamang of Manoling Francisco. That song mm-hmm. was actually inabot yan sa'kin ni, ni Basil Valdez. Kasi sabi niya, you know, I already have a religious song. Joey, why don't you record this song? It was actually Basil who handed me that song to record mm-hmm. um, through my producer, um, and my producer, Rudy Lozano, took it as part of my album. That song... And then that song, hiningi, hiningi rin ni, ano yan, ni, ni Richard Gomez before I left. Siguro a month before I left. No man, a few months before I left for Canada. Mm-hmm. He said, Joy, akin na yung kanta gagawin kong entry sa Metro Film Festival. Mm-hmm. So I said, sure, you can have it. 
talk to the producers kasi paalis na ako just just go ahead I'd love to give it to you so he even used the, the that sa iyo lamang as a title oh. alam mo ba so I, I arrived here in Canada May in June nakatanggap ako ng fax as in fax kasi wala ba yung know, fax ah. <laughs> fax machine nakatanggap ako ng fax message and um, my, my sister faxed me and said sa iyo lamang the movie won 13 awards, uh, including best song, best theme song. So, parang you know what? That was my parang sign from God na, ah, uh, aha, hindi pa ako tapos. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> hindi pa niya ako kakalimutan. Parang that became my, my, my song of hope. Mm-hmm. That song. Mm. Ang ganda po. Hindi... Naman, yung ano naman, it's over now, ano yan, um, Poem niya ni Janice de Belen. Mm-hmm. Na nilagyan ko lang siya ng chorus. And the, tapos nilagyan ni Louie ng melody. Kaalim mo. Ay, ang galing. <laughs> Opo. Ang galing naman from a poem. Tapos naging ano nga. Mm-hmm. Kanta. Kaya na daw. May mga story talaga siya. Mm-hmm. And of course, yun nga po, nabalik na ako sa ikaw lang ang mamahalin kasi ang dami na niyan. Naging title na ng soap, na syempre naging theme song. Tapos iba-ibang networks pa yan, ha? ABS, TV5, GMA. Ah, talaga? Akala ko lahat, eh. ay iba-iba, ha? Yes! Very nice. Grabe po. <laughs> And, yung tell me naman, ang naging theme song ba, parang kayo rin po ang nag-record ulit noon, di ba? With yes, Angelica. Can you imagine? And... Yes! And that, that was, for me, ang galing. Kasi parang, Normally, they always get somebody else to re-record um, song. a song uh-huh. for movies, de ba? Eh, it yes. so happened, pa-uwi din ako ng Manila at that time. Mm-hmm. So, I think it was maybe the first and probably even the only time that um, the main artist re-recorded her own song for a movie. Mm-hmm. Ang kilang, de ba? Kaya pasalamat din ako sa kanila for allowing me to do that. Yes. Um, I remember the boy po ba sa inyo din? That, yes. And that mm-hmm. song naman was given to me by Jo Marie Chan. Mm-hmm. Kakabalik lang niya from ano, kakabalik lang niya from New York. And he said, you know, I, I have the song, sabi ba, I can't sing it kasi syempre boy siya. So, binigyan niya sa akin. <laughs> <laughs> Ito po, kung ano lang, maghihingi lang kami ng konting sample. Kayo na po ang mamili among those songs. Kahit <laughs> two lines lang. Hindi, gusto ko ikaw yung mamili. Ay, o oh, syempre, ano na po. Yung pinaka-iconic na sa lahat na naging team song na ng limang teleserye ba? At ano, <laughs> ikaw lang ang mamahalin. Siga. Uh, ano part yung pinaka-maano sa puso mo? The chorus po, of course. The chorus? Teka, alam mo yung chorus doon? <laughs> Hanggat may umaga pa na harapin ikaw lang ang mamahalin. Ayan, yay. Thank you po. Mamaya po may pa-isa pa, pero sa ano na yon Sa challenge natin. Naku, Kasi ano, medyo may dyan. connect. Tatatakot naman ako dyan. Hindi, ano po, simple lang yan. Pero ito po, before the challenge, okay. siya po ang last na question, siguro ano ang future plans pa po for your YouTube channel? And syempre, kasama na rin po ang inyong singing career. Hard to say, you know, with all this pandemic. But you know, I'd really love to be able to just continue doing Dear Joey and and um, and and just connecting with people and giving them whatever light God has given me. Mm-hmm. Because light like that needs to be shared. And like what Joe Marie Chan once told me, music will always find its way, even if we think. It won't. Music is like water. It will find its way to where it needs to go. And it's hard for me to answer questions like, what are your plans? Because to be very honest, I never even planned my career to begin with. I mm-hmm. even dreamed it would happen and much le- much more becomes so big. So, siguro yung yung gusto ko na lang, yung na lang sasag- sasabihin ko sa'yo, yung mga pangarap ko na lang. Yes. Um, I, 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 I still like to do a passion project, which mm-hmm. 
is something na project naman na para sa akin. Hindi hindi na yun kailangan na commercial. Not something that has to sell. Mm-hmm. Kasi, I think I'm too old na for that. <laughs> so I just want to do something that also make me happy. Siguro isang album or or uh, will make me happy. I I've, I've been taking songwriting. I've, I took a songwriting workshop with Jim Paredes, and I am slowly getting back into my own songwriting. Mm-hmm. Wow, ano ko po, yan ang nakaka-excite. Mm-hmm. I'm sure, ano, with your, ano, with your fans, old and new, di ba? I already started with two Christmas songs. So, mm-hmm. yeah, so hopefully, we'll see, we'll see. Yes, and sana po, ano, no, matapos na ang, ano, pandemic, for sure, ang isa po sa una niyong gagawin ay umuwi. Ay, talaga. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I want. Of course, I want to go home. I want to. I want to be able to visit, celebrate my mom's death anniversary. So I wasn't able to do that last year, and yeah, um, I'd, I'd really love to be able to go back. Mm-hmm. Nako for sure at malami pong may excited kasi yeah. nako sa na may ano pa concert. Oh, ma- ano ni- mo ang swerte swerte ko nang ako you know, um, siguro. Just before COVID happened, nakapagtour mm-hmm. pa kami ng the company dito around Canada. Uh-huh. So we did four cities, four Canadian cities, the company and me. As in, talagang umuwi sila. They, they went back to Manila February 27. Nung March 3, nag-announce na ng COVID dito. Mm-hmm. Oh my God, ilang oh, days lang. Grabe. <laughs> grabe. Di ba? Mm-hmm. kami hanggang ngayon, every time Moy and I talk talaga, ay, grabe, salamat sa Diyos. Oh, that was such a, ano, parang photo finish. Parang butis Great. ng kara. Parang butis ng karayom. Grabe. Grabe. Yes. <laughs> my gosh. So, so, yeah, sana, ma- yun yung, na- I think yun pa yung na- nami-miss ko is being able to perform with colleagues that I love and respect. Mm-hmm. Yun yung nami-miss ko talaga. Iba talaga yung live. I mean, Zoom is okay and I know that they're finding ways to do Zoom concerts. Pero, alam mo, yung music, yung artist, kalahati lang yan ng what makes a concert an experience. Mm-hmm. The other half of the experience is you, the viewers, in front of us. Without them, it's not as magical. So, mm-hmm. yun yung nami-miss ko. Ayun, ako mag-pray. I'm sure dadasalan natin talaga yes. ng bongga. All this, all this, this too shall pass. Lahat yes. Lahat yes. Ayan. Oh, ito na po. Siyempre, ito Ayan na. Kasi po, <laughs> lahat po talaga ng ano, aming guests ay dumadaan sa aming par game. <laughs> so, ito po ang tinatawag namin Only in Tell. Only in Yan, and syempre po, ano, actually hindi nga po ito masyadong only in depth kasi ano pa po ba ang best segment na aming ipapagawa sa inyo? Eh, syempre sana galing na sa inyong YouTube channel, di ba? So, ito yung mga pamini-mini videos niyo. Pero syempre, iba ang questions natin dito. So, ang tawag natin, syempre, tell me, Joey! Yan, hindi naman pa namin ang inyong title card. <laughs> so, yun po. Siyempre, uh, katulad lang po ng ginagawa ninyo sa Tell Me Joey, mga tungkol po sa inyo, and i-tell nyo lang po sa amin. Parang tell me pep naman ngayon ang ano, peg okay. by Joey Albert. Okay, so five questions lang po ito, and okay. game! Ayan, game. first question. Tell me, Joey, the favorite song that you recorded. Million Miles Away. Mm. Yan, eh, pwede po ba kami manghingi ng ano, two-line sample alert? Give it a try, though I'm like chasing rainbows in the sky. Ano ba yan? Yes! I'm gonna hold you in my dreams and make believe that it's true. Though I know, I know that it's impossible to do. Cause you're a star. Yes! Yan. Na ano po, ni-record din ni Nikki Hill, di ba? Yes! Oh, that's my, ano, my niece in law. Yun nga po. Mm-hmm. Ang galing. Pero noon, syempre, hindi pa in law dahil ano. Who would have thought? Law na talaga. 
<laughs> na ano, years later, magiging ano nga, yeah, niece in-law niya siya. Uh, but I've always liked her, even before, I was telling her my nephew, even before she met my nephew, I already liked her. Mm-hmm. Ay, bakit po pala siyempre Million Miles Away ang inyong favorite na nirecord? Kasi Million Miles Away na ako ngayon from you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. There's something about that song that's just so dreamy and um, it just transports you into a different place. I don't know. I, it's it, it, it just not a bad place. Not it's just a pensive place. It's just... And then it, I guess it also represents... Um, a certain sense of it acknowledges a certain sense of humility mm-hmm. na na eto ako humahanga sa isang tala yes <laughs> ayun at least na alam po natin kasi ang ganda nga nung song na million miles away di ba no? diba? that's robert mm-hmm. more ang nagsulat mm-hmm. okay, okay yeah. second question ito tell me joey what you miss in the philippines my driver <laughs> <laughs> Joke! <laughs> My driver. Nihirap kaya mag-drive. Ano pa ba? Mm-hmm. Mm, I miss... 250 peso masahe. <laughs> Ay, yeah! Mm-hmm. Ang mahal kaya dito. One dollar a minute yata dito. Grabe. So Ay, siya! Ay, no! Gosh! They're not so galing pa. No, but what mm-hmm. else do I miss? No, of course I miss my friend. Mm-hmm. Sino po ba ang pinaka parang closest ano niyo friends na sa showbiz na lang? It, it was always Janet Masco. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But uh, kami yung nag-hang out palagi ever since before. And then syempre the others. I'm marami naman Moy, I'm really close to Moy, I'm close to Raymond Lochenko. Um I'm close to Jim Paredes. Um yeah. But yung girl mm-hmm. girl ano kami ni Janet. Janet Basco. Hello po. Isa rin yan na namimiss natin, di ba? Yan. Ito po, third question sa ating Tell Me Joey. Okay. Tell Me Joey, a name of a Pinoy singer that you want to collaborate with. Uh, you know what? I'm so out of touch. I don't know who the new singers are anymore. Um, Kahit naman po hindi new. Kahit yung gusto niya ng ulit talaga naman. I collaborated na with most of them, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'll just tell you the most that I enjoy co- collaborating with. Sige yes. Is Martin. Yeah, mm-hmm. Because him and I think alike, we talk alike, we... we yeah, yun yung nami-miss ko. Mm-hmm. At kaya po, ano, madalas din siya ang ano, naggagawa ng version. About, if you're talking about the collaboration, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not going to. It would, you know, it, it, it's still, it's still one of my, um, it's still on my bucket list to be able to have one last collaboration with Louis, siguro, at least before mm-hmm. I die. Nako, sana po. I'm sure maraming, ano. Ako kumamatay. <laughs> Nami fans ang matutuwa at ma-excite. Okay, ito po, number four. Ewan ko lang po kung ano magiging sagot nyo dito kasi nila, mayana. Okay, tell me, Joey, the greatest challenge that you faced during your showbiz days. The greatest challenge I faced. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, um, you know, I enjoyed my showbiz days so much. And I think the reason for that is because um, I didn't really want it. You, you know, like, you get yes. me? Parang, mm-hmm. it, it's, I didn't really, parang, hindi ko inambisyon, hindi ko talaga mm-hmm. siya, it, hindi ko talaga siya kina, kina career. I, I just did it because I was enjoying it. Mm-hmm. So I really, in terms of those things, I don't, I can't say that I really had a, challenge challenge but ah, okay but you know what what would frustrate me is people who always try to put you down and you know call you know mm-hmm. call you second rate singer or and, and that on i experienced that and I'm like okay well sorry mm-hmm. <laughs> and, yeah people who who just like to put you down and undervalue you you know and and don't 
don't appreciate you or they, they like to define you. Ikaw hindi ka na, wala ka sa level ni ganito, dito ka lang, you know. Yun, 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 the, the, the judging, the, the, the part of showbiz that's judgmental, I think, mm -hmm. would be would be the part that I hated about it the most. Yes. Eh, wala naman silang ikaw lang ang mamahalin. Shut up! Hindi kasi po kaya ako na curious na ano yung magiging answer nyo kasi nabasa ko nga po dun sa Philippine Star na article na parang naghahanap ba nung MMK, nung igagawa ng MMK yung story nyo. Naghahanap ng controversial moment. Tapos sabi nyo parang wala kayong ma-answer. None. In fact, you know, I've been called the most boring celebrity. Ah! Oh, oh, Before? Um, oh, uh, yeah, I, I, I read it in a magazine that I was the most boring. Because <laughs> well, you know, there wasn't really anything substantially juicy that they could, um, mm -hmm. you know, other than the time that Louie and I broke up. But hey, life happens, right? Yes. It's not like, mm -hmm. you know. Correct. Eh, pero Kebs naman po, dahil sa inyong mga songs talaga na iconic, hindi pa. <laughs> Ito naman talaga. Yeah, okay, eto yeah. po. <laughs> Ito na po ang last. Na. Yes! yes! I survived. <laughs> okay. Ito po, super, ano na lang, madali na lang ito. Tell me, Joey, what you are looking forward to this 2021? Coming back to you. Coming back to you, Manila. <laughs> mm -hmm. Coming back to visit Manila. Sana po really? talaga, no? Yes. Pero we are positive naman. I mean, the good positive, that. I know it will end, but sana ito ng 2021. Sana. Yes. <laughs> Yun po. Sama-sama naman tayo nag pray talaga. I know pa, talaga, ano. diba? Diba? Sige. Mm -hmm. Sige. Yun. Yun lang. Yun ang gusto ko. Yun, 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 yun talaga yung looking forward ko. Makauwi na ako dyan. Ayun. Ayan po, Miss Joey, of course, invite our pepsters. Saan po mapapanood ang Dear Joey and all your ano, videos. Yes, thank you very much for, for this opportunity. I would like to invite everybody to um, subscribe and watch my YouTube channel, Dear Joey. Um, like I say every day, it's this is your Dear Joey, always here to listen to your story. And although I don't have advice to say, I will always have a song to brighten your day. And, and this is really what Dear Joey is about. So if you're feeling a little sad, a little lonely, sometimes you don't want to talk to people, Write me a letter at writedearjoey at gmail.com. And, and I'm just here to listen, to acknowledge you, and to sing you a song. And I hope that in doing that, I can stay connected to you guys. You know, I'm not very good with the Twitters and the IGs and all these things, but I am very good at answering letters and, and, and really talking to, to you and mm -hmm. learning about you. And, and what makes you sad. And if I can make you happy with a song, that would be great. <laughs> yes. And ano po, social media accounts po, mayroon po bang iba din? Ah, well, there is we can follow you. With, um, there is a Dear Joey uh, Facebook page mm -hmm. and um, uh, that they can see the, the previous episodes. Ayan. Ako, thank you so much po, Miss Joey. Super and, thank you. At least... More power to Pap. And, uh, yes, thank really, you, Paul. Really, thank you so much for this platform because then, hindi, hindi, I, I, I used to really buy the magaz your magazines before. And <laughs> at least now, mas kinapapano, nandyan pa rin kayo. So thank you very much. Yes, at parang ito nga po yata yung isa, kung hindi ito first, isa to sa mga very few, mga million miles away na interviews, <laughs> di ba? Ang, in fairness naman din yeah. sa mga pa-stream yard at mga pa-zoom. From Vancouver with love. Mwah. Yes, at hindi nila halata ang ano, different sa time zone. Di ba? Parang nagchikahan lang tayo. Yes, and I am speaking to you from my dear Joey studio. <laughs> oh, yes. Ayan. Thank you so much po, Miss Joey. Thank you. More power. God bless you all. Yes, and sa Pepsters na, na, atin, na nanood sa atin ngayon, sumama sa atin ngayon, maraming maraming salamat. Siyempre, aming social media accounts nandiyan lang sa inyong screen. And of course, don't forget to visit www.pep.ph for a daily dose of showbiz news and updates. Yeah, thank you so much again, Miss Joey. Salamat po. And this is been Pep Exclusives. Bye, everyone.
Sabawa.